Matt and Mattingly's Bucket Show was recorded in front of a live studio audience in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. Fart noise. It's our catchphrase. And ma'am, are you, you are from here, right? No. See, here's my problem. I keep I look at people and I have a hard time distinguishing like if I've met them or not, and you look like somebody that I know. Or that I've met before. And we've obviously never met because you're from North Hollywood. When did you leave? Were you there yesterday? Did I see you passing by on the street? Was that... Did you really? Oh, that's funny. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. You have come to the show before. Oh, okay, yeah, but at the other location. I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure I've seen you then before. Are we live? Oh, cool. Welcome. How's it going, uh, everyone at home? Twitch. I got I got really involved with uh, trying to explain why everybody looks familiar to me. Uh, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's a, that's the way we should open every time. Just me talking to somebody that the that the audience at home can't hear at all. Uh, welcome. My name is Brent Mukai. I am the warm-up comic. What you're about to see is the Bucket Show. I'll talk to you too. I'll I'll, I'll every once in a while I'll glance over give you eye contact and let you know that I'm present. We're about to see The Bucket Show. And uh, the, po the point of The Bucket Show is we are going to be watching two man improv. That's right, two men will be coming out here in just a minute and everything that they are about to do is going to be made up right here on the spot. Nothing pre-planned, nothing pre-written, every single, which one am I? Am I, am I yours? I'm, I'm that one, okay, cool. Uh, I always get self-conscious. Uh, let me turn again to you and address you. All right, are we all still connected? Perfect. And uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna do that randomly. Uh, uh, what we need from you at home, you're wondering, oh, how can I be a part of the show? How, how does that work? Because in Twitch, that's the whole point, right? Audience interaction. You will actually be dictating how the show goes because uh, whenever we need a suggestion, Matt, and Paul will be coming out and be asking you for a suggestion. You just type it into the chat box and they will take your suggestions and use your suggestions to fuel the show. This is a clean running green vehicle and you are like the electricity that you are putting into this hybrid uh, electric car. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I tried, I, I thought of like this metaphor and then it just came out as word vomit. Uh, you also might be wondering, how else can I help? Here's another way. You can go on Twitter and you can go and uh, hashtag bucket picks. That's B-U-C-K-E-T-P-I-C-S. You in the audience can also play along if you'd like to uh, go ahead and put in pictures. Use the hashtag bucket picks for a game that they will be playing later on in the show. They will be taking all of the pictures. Please no nudity. Um, that's <laughs> one audience member just put away his phone because he doesn't want to not have nudity in it. Uh, so uh, I, I'm talking. I'm talking to everybody here. How's your spine? It's my spine is uh, uh, off. It is. It is. <laughs> It is my back. Thank you so much. I, I wasn't even looking at all this because I was too busy making eye contact and connecting with this audience here. It's it's I'm juggling. I'm juggling right now. Um, I, so, OK, so I found out that I, I favor one leg over the other. And I've been doing that for basically like my entire life, I guess. Um, and over time, it just curves my spine and it, it's made my pelvis uneven. Uh, and uh, that's 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 pretty much where I'm at. I have I have like a crooked spine. So, but like like a week ago, I couldn't even walk or stand, and now I can do both and talk at the same time. So I am doing a lot better. Uh, I have a chiropractor who is shoving my back into place, uh, which is every bit as painful as it sounds. <laughs> Make no mistakes. I'm getting better and I'm getting uh, healthier. But uh, uh, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, Siko too. I hope that that was. I hope that I said that correct. Uh, thank you so much, to Scoop to come. Thank you so much, Bump Set Scoop and everybody for asking. Uh, I appreciate. Uh, I appreciate it very much. But yeah, my back. Here's the thing. Like, I. I like the second that I started having back issues. I started talking to my friends about it, and one of my friends was like, "Did you sleep on it wrong? Did you sleep on your?" Right. That was the face I made. I was like, "What the fuck? How do you sleep wrong?" Like, is that a thing? Like, that's always the, the, but that's like the first thing. Like, oh, did you sleep wrong? Why are you, why are you? I've never once seen somebody sleeping and be like, oh, that's all, that's terrible. That's all fucked up. That's, 
Like, they're going to wake up and have spine problems after that sleep. What a shit show. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, how do you sleep? And also, how would I know? How would I know? I'm sleeping during it. I'm sleeping. Hi, what's up, cold guy? I'm talking about my back pain. I, how do you know if you sleep wrong? I don't know. And she was like, well, I mean, how do you know if you snore? And I'm like, well, somebody has to tell me that I'm snoring. You know what I mean? But like, no, like, like if I would, I would, I accidentally kept my eyes open and stood against a wall at an angle while I slept. See that, I still don't even consider that sleeping wrong. I still think that that's, that's all right. I, I like, 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 so how would I know, right? How would I know unless I'm sleeping with somebody that is going to be able to tell me that I'm sleeping weirdly, right? But if you look at me and realize that I'm just a fat Asian guy that's now also a cripple, nobody's fucking sleeping with me. I, that is not an option for me. There's nobody checking in on me anymore. I don't live with my parents. Nobody, my roommate isn't opening the door like, hey, buddy, uh... Just want to check in and see if you're... That would be weird. If I woke up and I, the door was cracked open and my roommate was checking in to see how I was sleeping, I would be very... I would probably move out. I don't know. I don't know. I took edibles for the first time like a few weeks ago. Yeah. I can say that on Twitch because now it's legal. Uh, so now we're all good. Uh, has anyone ever taken these before? They're fucking awesome. But they taste... They like... When I keep hearing the term gummy, I just have a certain standard for what a gummy tastes like, and they do not taste like gummies at all. Like, that is my one complaint with the edible. I, it fe makes me feel wonderful, but it does not taste like a gummy. Also, they're not shaped like a, anything. I've never seen a gummy that was just a square before. Like, why do, are all the gummies like sharks and bears? I, even the men's, I have a men's vitamin that's a gummy. That's a law it's a law now? Really? They don't make Flintstones gummy weed? Any, that, okay. Well, that explains it. I, <laughs> I, they do. I'm sure they do. <laughs> I want those gummies. It, it feels weird eating a gummy that's just a square. Like, I have the vitamin gummies for men. And I remember when I bought them, I was like, are there really vitamin gummies that were made for men? I don't know that that's a real thing. I see a marketing opportunity. Yeah, now that weed's finally legal, I can finally sell the one thing that is not legal with weed. Yes, Matt. <laughs> that's why I, that's why I won't eat uh any vegetables. <laughs> None of them are shaped like bears. <laughs> I only eat things that are shaped like bears, worms, sharks, or Swedish fish. Don't give me those fucking Swiss fish. Our shark broccoli, dude, that is the real marketing. If you marketed, like, <laughs> I don't know if you're being serious or not, Jacob, but no, that, can you that imagine? Certainly, that's certainly something. Vegetables and fruits that were uh, yes, Paul's broken stand in for Fifty Shades. Hi, what's up? Yarny scoop. Did I say that correct? So SpaghettiOs. Yeah, I'm good with SpaghettiOs. I'm good with uh, all this stuff. Uh, my name's Brent. I, I am I am the warm-up comic. I'm warming you up right now. Like uh, uh, Paul and Matt are like the steak dinner, and I'm like the potato skins. <laughs> like that's me. I'm just a hot plate. I'm so fucking hungry. I have not eaten yet today, and now all I've talked about oh. for 15 minutes is that's why I'm so concerned with these gummies. Like I'm hungry for gummies. How's the spine, Dave Coulier? It, it's, it's not great, but it is better. It is much, much better than it was. Uh, hi, Brent. I can now imagine you in a onesie. I'm glad. Maybe, uh, maybe you won't have to imagine me in a onesie. Maybe for the right price, I just send you a picture of me in a onesie. You think that I don't have a onesie? I do. It's oh, he's got one. one. I've, got, I've got twosie. 
He a certainly onesie. has some onesies. <laughs> he needs a Chiron. Sh Chiron. Jacob, what is what is a Chiron? The thing that goes on the screen. Oh. That's a Chiron. Is Fox News Alert? Is Chiron and so when you're, I just thought it was called a name square. Chiron? Yeah, oh, Chiron. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> a lower third name square. Uh, but are you cheaper than Matt and Paul? Don't drop the mic. Yes. Don't drop that mic. Yes, I am. Three singlets need to enter this studio next week, and only one singlet will leave. Is that a, is that a fight reference or is that a sex reference? I don't know. It's up to you. <laughs> Jacob, your comic timing, there you as go. always, completely flawless. It's just a little bit late. <laughs> hashtag, hashtag bucket picks. I keep, I keep doing this. I need to. Hashtag bucket picks, B-U-C-K-E-T-P-I-C-S. I see now that they're putting it on the screen, so now I'm stupidly just spelling out what you can already see. Uh, <laughs> uh, make sure that you tweet all your bucket picks to them. Uh, uh, on Twitter, hashtag bucket pick, send your craziest, uh, most outrageous photos, and Matt and Paul will be using it in the show. Just to let you know, what you're about to see is a two-man improv show. What's improv? It is comedy made up right here on the spot. No scripts, no nets, nothing like that. All with suggestions from you. When they prompt you for a suggestion, please just type it in to the Twitch comment box. Uh, and with that being said, uh, I would now like to welcome two good friends of mine, Paul Mattingly and Matt Donnelly. Matt and Mattingly present The Bucket Show live here at Polaris Studios. I was waiting for music. It's not here. Okay. Perfect. Yay. Yeah. What's up? I was wondering if you were stalling, and then I was like, oh, yeah, there's no music guy. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please get up for Mr. Mike Spadoni. Hey. Oh. Woohoo. All righty. We'll be played by Jacob, the audio guy, today. I'll tell you what, uh, Jacob, I'm you'll on hit the hunt we'll, for balls. We'll yeah, just still, play that over and over again. We'll, That's good music. We'll still do an opening theme, but you'll just hit the demo on the keyboard, okay? Yeah, that perfect. Works. All right. Good. All right, guys, give it up for Brent Mukai, our warm up yeah. comic, like, working his way. Oh, yeah. yeah. He did great. Uh, he has a spinal injury, as we have uh, discussed there. Brent, how's, the, how's your spine? Uh, it's not great, but better. 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 What do you have to do? You, you're not getting an operation. No, I just have to do a bunch of You have exercise. a microphone, right? Oh, I do have a mic. It's, yeah. it's literally next to you. <laughs> Thank you for making the guy with the spine problems stand up again. Uh, and sit back down. Yeah, uh, yeah. You, you, you're having the hardest one of anybody. Uh. <laughs> Guys, everyone in, everyone in, in uh, Houston and in the Caribbean, Brent got up and sit, sat down again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I empathize with Brent though because I uh, I slept wrong last night. Oh yeah. So yeah. My, my back's a little my back's a little jacked. Are you gonna Did start calling your spine Irma? <laughs> oh Irma! Oh Irma! Oh, Irma. Oh, Irma. <laughs> my spine is more crooked than Denzel in Training Day. Whoa! <laughs> there you go. Wow, well, that's there a that's go. a very topical reference. <laughs> yeah. Timely. That's, I like that. I haven't watched a lot of movies. No, lately. dude, that's great. I like Denzel. At any time you can reference Denzel. Reference Denzel. I will, Denzel. Nice! <laughs> We're on it now, guys. You nailed it. All right, let's give it up for our studio audience. <laughs> we have guests from all over our 550 states and beyond. Uh, people they're have come here to from, see us. They've come here from Alabama. Right. They've come here from Las Vegas. It's pretty amazing. They've come here from Alabama. Alabama and Las Vegas. And Las Vegas. Both of those places. Pretty amazing. So thank you all for coming out to uh, support the Bucket Show. Uh, anytime you are in Las Vegas, don't hesitate to come look us up and uh, seek us out. We're going to do improv for you. We're we're not gonna, more than you think. We're not going to do a song, though. Yeah, we are. Are we? We're going to do the demo, whatever the demo is. Do you have that. the thing? <laughs> You're going to hit the demo. What demo? We have music, Paul. Oh. Fuck what I said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we're going to do the Spanish job song, then? No. Oh, we're going to do a job song. It's not the Spanish job song. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Guys, if you're wondering where our keyboard player is, so are we. <laughs> <laughs> Just so we're clear. What? Are you just checking out different songs? I thought it'd be really hilarious to do a song. I wasn't joking. I think you should hit the demo on the keyboard and we sing to whatever the song comes out of that keyboard. <laughs> yeah, great. All right, great. 
So any of you guys do start typing your suggestions. Start typing suggestions for an animal and an occupation. Great. And we'll make up a song an about animal. that animal we're with that up, occupation. We're gonna make up an animal song it about won't an animal be and as an occupation. Slick as or Spanish job song. Concise. No. Or as rewarding. But it'll be rambling. It won't be as funny. It might rain ra <laughs> rain. Might rhyme a little bit. It might rain a little bit too. It it's already <laughs> raining a little bit here in town. Uh, it's raining sweat from my balls to my ankles right now. Mm. That's my fault. I wore wool underwear and it's still 100 degrees outside. Wonder. Yo, bad. All right. Uh, I see pothole filler. That's a job. Thank you, we'll Rabbit We'll do pothole Buster. filler. Pot Triceratops pothole filler? Okay. <laughs> Triceratops pothole filler. Yeah. All right. Let's see what comes from this. All right. We're not going to do the thing. No. It's different. But this is a song <laughs> about a Triceratops pothole filler. Eventually. Yes. There it is. Demo. Oh, I love demo music. Ladies and gentlemen, this song, it's about a Triceratops pothole filling. I'm a Triceratops. I go to the streets. I look for the pots and try to fill them in. I look all day and all night for cars going thumpity thump. What the fuck was that? A pothole. Here comes the Triceratops. I bet you like me a lot. I fill the holes till I won't stop. I like the solutions. Just try me. How many solutions? How about three? Try Triceratops. Try filler. Triceratops, pothole filler. Triceratops, pothole filler. Triceratops, pothole filler. Break it down, Paul. <laughs> Every winter I get called on because the roads go to shit. And you can trust this Triceratops. I'll be there to fix it. The problem is when it snows and it sleets, they fill the roads with disgusting salt. And that cracks up the pavement and causes potholes, but it's not my Triceratops asphalt. But I will repair all the damage that's done. I take my three horns and I stick them in tar. I flick the tar down on the ground, where would be your car? And in those holes, I put a little bit of gravel. To Sarah Top, yeah! It's just a, it's just a demo, Paul. It's not a whole musical. I got to do uh, not my asphalt, and that's all I wanted to do. That's all we did. That's all we did. Guys, give it up for the pre-programmed keyboard. Yeah. Hey, uh, Skew Two is saying, is it just me, or does Matt look genuinely happy? Yes. Anytime I see Paul suffer, I'm genuinely happy. Suffer? I'm having fun. All right. Uh, I do. I honestly, I have a passion for demo music. Yeah, it was funny. Now's the time of the show where we check to see if our keyboard has actually texted us back. He has not. <laughs> All right. <laughs> he's a busy, growing boy. He's, he's, yeah, he's got other things to do in life. Uh, he oh, he made he it, made everybody. It. Hey. He's here. <laughs> the duty. I want you to know we just did the Spanish job song to the demo on the computer. <laughs> it was not as Spanish as it usually is. No, no. Not it nearly. Was, it, was, it was jazzy, Far though. less Spanish. It was jazzy. But it kind of, it kind of felt like, uh, it, though, right? here's how your computer's going to work. That's what it felt like to me. <laughs> it felt like, you've just entered the world of Macintosh. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> Guys. Every icon is just a click away. All right. Um, we have a, uh, we have a, where's our briefcase with the, the buzz and ding noises? Where'd it go? It's right over here. Okay, great. Oh, cool. there you go. <laughs> so you're uh, Kelly and what was your name? Christy. Christy? Are you guys a couple? Yes. Great. <laughs> That's what we needed. That's what we need. We need you guys to be a couple. <laughs> I'm going to get this microphone over here. Kelly and Christy are now getting equipped with the buzz ding machine. And what's oh, going to happen? Wait, we don't have title cards for no reason. This is a version of New Choice! Oh! Yes! 
Graphics. Kelly right. and Christy are now in possession of the Buzz Ding Machine. Matt is over there handing them the Buzz Ding Machine. This device is a state-of-the-art piece of technological equipment <laughs> that allows them to guide our upcoming scene. What we're going to do is we're going to try to recreate their first encounter, their first date, if you will. And anytime we get an element of that first encounter wrong, Christy is going to hit that button labeled red and lay on that buzz to let us know we got something wrong. Hit it again for me. Awesome. Really lay on it and until, and then we're gonna have to replay that moment, that word, whatever it might have been, and we are going to have to keep trying over and over again new ideas, new choices, until we get close to what actually happened. And when you're satisfied, then you hit the green, and that sounds like... Perfect. Do and you want that, me to cheat him, Chuck? That lets right. us know that we are allowed to move forward, and they have accepted our retelling of their first encounter. All right. I, I want to just thank our production team. We did not tell them how we were going to do this at all, because we didn't think about how we were going to do it until I saw them. And, and they're on top of it. They're that, that way. fast. All right, now comes, meeting. Now comes Matt's favorite moment of this game. Yep. Where, Christy, you are put on the spot. You have to decide who among us, Matt or Paul, you wish to portray you in the upcoming scenario. Matt looks awfully excited. All right. <laughs> Matt. I will play Christy. You get to be Christy. I will be Kelly. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, before we get started, I feel like I should point out that Spadoni is currently leading in the tips total. What? Of course, <laughs> Spadoni has $5. Yeah! Someone, someone <laughs> tipped him. Now, was that before he showed up? I don't know. Was it like, stay home, Spadoni. Here's five bucks. So. <laughs> All right. That's awesome. <laughs> or I bet it's someone who loved the demo as much as I did. Yeah. <laughs> the keyboard, was the keyboard got it done. It? <laughs> what, what was we it? Just, Jacob just hit start on the keyboard. Oh, that was Just oh, hit the demo button. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was pretty spectacular. <laughs> uh, yes. Once again, uh, Paul and I are competing for your love and affection, most importantly, your money. So if you look below uh, on the page, you'll see tip buttons for Paul and I. Uh, and we'll be checking in on the totals page throughout the show. Uh, as, as you can see, there are buttons for Spadoni and Jacob, and someone found the Spadoni button right away. Ignore them! <laughs> we don't care. Ignore we only those count, buttons! We only count victories above the Just us. us. Okay. No, do what you like. All right. Every dollar helps. We now take you to the perfect recreation of Christy and Kelly's first date. <laughs> Christy, I'm glad that I met you here at the place we both work. <laughs> Christy, I'm glad that I met you here from this online dating service. Christy, I'm glad that I met you here at this bagel factory. It's worth a shot. Christy, I'm glad that I met you here at this blind date. Christy, I'm so glad that I met you here at college. I'm glad that I met you here at grad school. I'm glad that I met you here at grade school. I'm glad that I met you here at postgraduate school. I'm happy to have met you here on the street randomly. I'm glad to have met you here through a mutual friend. Yeah. I love our mutual friend. I'm so glad too. I gotta tell you, right away you strike me as a very handsome, confident man. You're right. Come on and get into my car. Okay. It's a Chevrolet. It's a Peugeot. It's a bit of a shitbox. But it's, it's actually a pre-owned BMW. It's a Ford. A bull. I own it. So here, yeah, go, go ahead, get in that side. Okay. That's the side you get in. Yeah, that's because you drive. That's, that's the right. driver's that's side. That's right. I decided on this, our first date, I'd take us somewhere special. A museum. Nope. I decided I'd take us somewhere special. A restaurant. I decided you don't look like you're hungry, so let's go instead to a big fuck party. <laughs> yes! 
How did you know? Oh. I am a connoisseur of fuck parties. I could read. I could read your appetites. Yeah. And I knew what you were really in the mood for. I don't really need things in, in my mouth for sure. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want any garlic bread stuffing up that maw. I want that. I want that space all cleared for Kelly. <laughs> oh, I'm, this is you're so romantic. <laughs> uh, um, I have to tell you though mm. that uh, if we're gonna have sex on the first date, I have some standards. One is uh, no kissing. One is kiss me. Okay. Everywhere. Uh oh. Start with my toes. Yeah. Yeah. Start let, with kissing my toes. Let me pull this car over. We're not going to make it to the party, no, are we? No, we're not. <laughs> Think about this affordable car. Yeah. The money I saved, yeah. I was able to install a bed in the back. Whoa! <laughs> The money I saved, I was able to install two small benches that have protruding little things we can stick up ourselves and just sit on. Uh, with the money I saved, we can fuck in the trunk. I have to warn you, I'm not wearing underwear. Really? Really. I'm not wearing underwear on our first date. I'm wearing a chastity belt. My dad holds the keys. I'm wearing a, a little something, a little lacy, a little thongy, but still dignified. The buttons. Yeah. Well, I'd love to get a closer look. Come on into the fuck trunk. <laughs> All right, Steve. All right, good job. That was Kelly and Christy and the fuck trunk, everybody. Yes. That's how you know you found the one. When they, without hesitation on the first date, will get in the fuck trunk with you. True. Keeper. Um, Keeper. Oh, church friends. This next game we're going to call in it is uh, fill in the blank. Um, and Paul, I have a twist for this game too. What? I haven't told you about. A twist? Yeah, yeah. Uh, where is our, where is our, where is our spongy spined uh, warm up comic? Did he go away? Brent? Yeah, he died. Apparently. Oh. All right. He died. Well, uh, the twist was I was going to surprise him too, but he surprised me by being absent. All right, let's do um, let's do the next game. We'll come back to film the play. Okay, okay. All right, <clears throat> this next game is called See It Three Ways. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Paul, I'm going to do a scene for you. Uh, the way it works is we're going to get uh, a, a line of dialogue. Go ahead and start typing lines of dialogue there for us to choose from. Uh, something you should have actually overheard today. Real words that you've heard today. Uh, should inspire our first scene. Then Paul and I are going to do a scene, we'll knock it out, then we'll come back and we'll get different genres from you guys. Genres of film, genres of literature, genres of music, and we'll do the scene again in three different ways. That's the name, Scene Three Ways. So, for now, uh, let's see, can someone stop pulling the chain from Cold Guy, I read. Can someone stop pulling the chain? All right. <clears throat> Can someone stop pulling the chain? But it's three o'clock. I realise that, but the bells have been ringing for 40 minutes. Yeah. Since 2.30. Yeah, that's... Uh, I just thought I'd get all the rings out of the way. No, it has to ring on the hour. Look, I... I'm paid by the ring, and I got a dinner tonight, so I thought I'd get all the rings out of the way. <laughs> we are not paying you for extra rings. I'm sorry, this job is not working out. I know you're my nephew, yeah, but I have to say you're fired. Ah, bigot! Excuse me? You're a bigot, you are. What's my last name? Yeah, you're John just, Bigot. You fi you fired me, Mr. Bigot, because of the hump on my back. Oh no, no, no! You have no sympathy for the handicapped. I have plenty of sympathy for the handicapped. Oh, really? Because you just fired a bigot, you bigot. Bigot, bigot. My wife is handicapped. Really? Yes. What's a handicap? Let me bring her in. I'll have her show you. Oh, all right. You call my bluff. Clang, clang, <laughs> clang. Hello. 
Hello. Oh, Miss Bigot. Uh, Miss Bigot, it's a pleasure to meet you. I understand you've got some kind of handicap. I got a big hump on my back. Nothing on me moves. I have wheels on me legs that people push me around on. Must be real dynamo in the sack. I am. Because I don't move. <laughs> I'll let you do anything you like. You want to ring my bell? Wait, where's your, where's your husband? He fucked off somewhere after he gave me a push. That's, that's kind of what he does. <laughs> I see. Well, we'll leave it right there at the point of sexual tension. Peak sexual tension. All Will right. the incestuous bigot fucking happen? <laughs> Tune in next week. <laughs> uh, it's another clean show. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> Uh, you guys go ahead and start typing away. Uh, Mrs. Bucket Bigot is a whore. For the Shut up, Yako Scoop. You don't judge her. <laughs> she is. Uh, there uh, were jokes. There were jokes? No. no I guess you not, did. Yuli Dig. No, they were not. <laughs> all right. So, uh, oh, beach party movie from the 60s. I right, like that. 60s beach party. Uh, musical genre, disco. Disco. And we need, finally, a genre of literature. I see a psychological thriller there. Oh, Imperial Scoop. You just missed it with Tom, with, uh, Tom Waits. That'd be we can do Tom Waits. Uh, well, but we already got the disco. Let's do both. All right. It's Tom Waits. Let's just do two, two musics. Yeah. Two musics and the, and the, and the beach yeah. party. So we'll do, uh, yeah. we'll do Fuck beach. genres. Fuck literature. <laughs> Nobody reads anymore. <laughs> Let's do that. Okay. Let's start off with a 60s beach blanket party. Okay. Movie. Style. No, that's not the sound I want. Glow. Someone stop ringing those bells. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just, you know, hanging loose with the bell chiming. I just figured, you know, you pay me by the chime, but I also want to get together with my bros for some pizza tonight. Hey, man, I'm really sorry. We can't pay you by the chime anymore. I'm going to have to let you go, buddy. Why? Yeah, I know you're my nephew. My me, fired? John Bigot is saying you're fired. Oh, man, come on, you bigot. Sorry. I'm a bigot. Is this because I'm a big humped oaf? No, man, no. I have lots of love for handicapped people. As a matter of fact, my wife's handicapped. My aunt? That's the one. <laughs> nah, I would have known about that. Besides, I learned stuff real fast. I'm good at school. Listen, she doesn't really show it, but she's handicapped. I'll bring her in here. All right. Shoot. I already got fired from the library and from the car wash and from mowing my neighbor's lawn. Oh. Hey, Aunt Peg. Hey. Want to watch you ring the bell? I sure do. Hey, you want to go steady? That's all I do. <laughs> People push me on the wheels on my legs, and I go steadily in the direction that they last pushed me because I have no capability of movement outside of my neck and head. Well, let's go for a skinny dip. Let me push you towards the ocean. <laughs> Woo! I can feel the waves on my toes. I wish I could move. Let me push you even deeper. Oh, I can feel the waves at my neck. I wish I could move. Let me push you even deeper. Blub, 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 drowned. Drown, blub, blub, drown. Looks like I'll be able to have pizza after all. That's the old 60s murder movie. <laughs> <laughs> Beach blanket murder. All right. Uh, Tom Waits? Uh, sure. Or do we got disco, uh, first? disco. I don't care. Tom Waits first. Let's do it. Tom Waits feels like less of a home run, so I'm going to stick that next. All right. Okay. Who would someone stop bringing those bears? Would someone please stop pulling that chain? I'm asking you to please stop pulling on that chain. Please stop pulling, stop pulling on that chain. His name was John Bigot. 
like to walk into the house like a thunderstorm likes to walk into a small town. Nice and big. Really fucking annoying. Didn't let me do my business, which is ringing the damn bells from the slutty ropes that the so Well, I'm sorry. We're not praying you by the ring. No, no. <laughs> and you're fired. You're fired, you dingling. Oh, yeah. Now I'm a bigot, John Bigot, that's true. But it's not because of the handicap of you. I'm firing you simply on your rigging skills. Or lack thereof. You hate me because I got a hump on my back. It really bothers you. It crawls underneath your slimy, bigoty skin, doesn't it? No, no, no. You'd be surprised to find out I have a handicapped wife. Let me get her. Roll, roll, I roll everywhere. Roll, I roll, I roll without a care. Well, here comes Aunt People Pink. push me Jeez. and they let me they just roll wherever I may. I can't move a thing on my body except my neck and my head. Hey, hey. I see that body, I tell you, I want to step right up. I want to step right on in there. I want to get in there one, one time only. Two for a nickel, five for a dollar. Are you propositioning me, son? Sure am, Aunt Peg. <laughs> mm. Well, I would like you to ring my bell. I would like you to ring my bell. But I have to warn you, there's going to be a terrible smell. <laughs> because I can't move my body. I can't wipe or clean at all. <laughs> Everything going on downstairs is like a well-worn bathroom stall. <laughs> Imagine a place inside of a train station. Clang. People coming in and out. Clang, clang. But no one ever cleans. No one Time. ever stops. It's a real damn mess, no doubt. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a bunch of burgers and fries hanging out in my shorts. Cause the shits keep coming, but they don't get clean. So they're just there, of course. I wonder, in fact, when you pull down my pants, if it won't be a rotten egg mess. I don't think there'll be anything left of my hips, my thighs, or my shitty ass nest. Oh, my shitty clang, ass nest, clang, clang. Look out for clang. my shitty ass nest, clang, clang. Full of gross, clang, stinky ass pants. Cause I can't clean it one better guess. Ooh, clang, clang. Take a hose to me clang. before you try to fuck. Clang. Cause otherwise you might get your dirty clang, dick clang. Stuck. Look out for my disgusting, nasty-ass nest. Ooh. See, my husband, he, he's all right with crippled people. Doesn't take real good care of me, but he's all right with me. Roll, clang, roll, clang. roll, 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 Nice! Woo. Just so we're clear, that was a parody, not an actual Tom Waits song. <laughs> All right. So, uh, oh, I'm up five bucks to three bucks, Paul, on the old chart there. Whoa! But that was after the, that was before the shitty ass nest soliloquy. So <laughs> who knows? We expect knows? those totals to change right quick. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, disco. Someone's gotta stop pulling on that chain. Ooh, someone's gotta stop pulling on that chain. Won't you stop pulling on that chain? The bells you're ringing are making me insane. Please stop pulling, please stop pulling on the chain. Clanging man, 
no time to tell. I'm trying to wrap up quick, I got shit to do. I gotta spit so you don't stop me from doing the things that I just want to do. Cause I can tell you won't bend, then if you tell me I am true. I'm sorry about this thing, we ain't paying you by the ring. You're fired and gone, fired and gone. Wanna keep you real, my nephew that I found, but you're fired and gone, fired and gone. equivalent is of uh, the Oscars, but uh, when, we, when, we, <laughs> when we select what we send out to the, to the perspective, that's the one? That's the one, I think. That's the one. Oh, God. Um, Gold. This is where I do Where's hope Brent? that one of us... Where did Brent go? Did he just leave? I don't know. I don't see him. All right. Did we he, offend him? He had a fistful of cash and said something about Tijuana. All right. Well, all right. Um... Well, I had a different idea to do with fill in the lines. Yeah, she moves more after she's dead in the water. That's right, Dave Coulier, because she got somehow separated from that thing that kept her upright when she got in the water, and she just washed up as a body. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do this. We have um, Carolyn Alberts here. She knows how to talk. She does. Carolyn, it's going to be really easy. Okay. Guys, coming up here, get up for scoop Carolyn Albert, everybody. Yay, hey, Carolyn Alberts! <laughs> Guys. Check out the fabulous merchandise that she is promoting for us right now. Yeah, we brought her for just a model. Just to model our, our beautiful salt pork shirt. Oh. Is that, a, in fact, available now? Yeah. We do have more available now? Yeah. Go to Hayscoops. Yes. Go to Hayscoops.com. Slash swag. Swag. And you can, buy, <laughs> you can buy that shirt. Paul cannot stop caring about business. <laughs> All right. I care about business. All right. Here's what I want to do. We've done this before where we do fill in the lines. We've done competing campaign ads as part of fill in the lines. Right. Today I want to do a, a version of, uh, of a courtroom one called Your Witness. Okay. All right, so you and I 
are going to play uh, the defense attorney and the prosecuting attorney All right. on a crime. Okay. And she is a witness to the crime. She's All not right. the perpetrator. She's a witness to the crime. And we will go back and forth asking questions, but also utilizing the words that the audience shoves into our mouth. Great. Okay? I like it. So for you guys uh, watching uh, on your chat, just go ahead and start putting random lines out there. We're going to incorporate your random lines or words into a uh, lawyer cross-examining each other. We also need, first and foremost, a crime that's not a crime oh, yeah. that we are talking about. So get a normal activity first before we just throw off, uh, I love that line, Froyog. Just throw that back out again if you can. A normal activity, like tying your shoes or buying ice cream, something like that, that we can uh, be prosecuting about. That's what the, uh, the thing is. Yeah, and while we're waiting for them, we're waiting for them to type that in, so uh, we'll finish out. Anytime you finish your line of questioning, you just go, your witness. And you just hand it over to me. And I finish and I say, your witness. Defense or you. prosecution? Oh, oh, we should figure that out, too. Yeah. Um, I'll, go, uh, I'll go defense. It's right. that's a defense Great. lawyer. I'd I like will, to poorly represent him. I will prosecute. Uh, shopping for flowers. That's right. something that's not a crime. Shopping for flowers. All right. That's your pizza scoop. Great. Now, from here on out, go ahead. Thank you, guys. Just start typing in some random lines of dialogue that we will incorporate into our diatribes as we now give you your witness. Uh, go ahead. I, I, I defense give the floor attorney. to the defense yeah, yeah, attorney. Yeah. So, uh, Mrs. Watson, you're the owner of the flower shop. Is that correct? Yes. And, uh, and uh, my uh, client over here is accused of uh, robbing this flower shop. And I just wanted to just say, uh, that's an amazing shirt. Where can I buy one? Uh, I believe you can buy one at hayscoops.com. Hayscoops.com slash swag. Thanks. All right. Now, you're standing uh, in my shoe. You get a whiff of that? Yeah. It's yeah, not good. It's, it's not good. No. Neither is your story about my client. My client was, not in this, was innocently trying to purchase flowers. A bunch of flowers for your wife? I, I don't know why he wanted them. Yeah. Yeah. You don't. And yet you're pretty sure he was the guy that was in the flower shop, right? Oh, definitely. Yeah. But you don't even know whether or not he wanted to buy flowers for anybody? Seems a little fishy to me. And she's probably naked, right? Your yeah. wife? Yeah. She naked? For sure. Okay. So you definitely know your wife was not here whether she is or is wearing clothing, but you, but you can tell. I, I think this woman doesn't know what the hell's going on. Your witness. <laughs> Thank you, dick shit. That's dick shit, defending attorney. The roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. That was what was exclaimed in your place of business before the defendant tried to run out with flowers. Is that not correct? That's correct. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Well, well, well. I also understand that your nails are filthy. Is that true? Yes. That's the mark of a good florist. She works in the dirt. She's actually in there day in and day out. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I put it to you. Birds stole my heart. And that's not just something I'm saying. That's something I mean. Birds pecked at my chest and took out one of my aorta. I had it surgically replaced by none other than flower parts. That's what I suspect our criminal was trying to do. Get some stems for stem cell research and continuing to put stems in other people's hearts. Fence. You say potato, potato. <laughs> your witness. Oh. I have golf balls in my nose. That's what I need to stop the stench of this story that you guys are constructing right now. Okay? Look. We can sit here all day and play, he loves me, he loves me not, he loves me, and I think it would be great. I'd have fun playing that, because that would be less of a waste of time than this story you guys are trying to put against my client. My client, it smells like your mom, the story you've come up with here. And she's a lying whore, last I checked. Am I right? No. Okay. <laughs> your word against mine. <laughs> Is that a duck in your briefcase? What of it? No further questions. Look, <laughs> we will have ponchos or the company is not available, right? Probably. Right. We all <laughs> agree on that. I'd bank Queen Elizabeth II. You? Sure. Great. So now we're, starting to, now we're starting to go somewhere. Now we're starting to agree for some things, okay? Look, if I wanted to get some stems, I would buy them. If my client didn't have money, he'd probably ask you for them. You're a nice person, right? 
Yeah. If someone asked you for a dollar or can I borrow this flower or do you mind if I borrow your car, I bet you'd say, I'd bang Philip too or can someone tell me where my car is, <laughs> right? You might be like, I let my keys to the guy for a car and now it's gone. Yeah. 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 So I'll tell you what, $5.99 for my belt, we call it a deal. <laughs> <laughs> You're with us. <laughs> Uh, thanks a lot, dick shits. Hey, uh, uh, your honor, I'd like it to be on the record that dick shits called out my executive duck, <laughs> Lofi, the bread-loving duck. Everybody likes Lofi, the bread-loving duck, and I just don't... Can you please send me the hot tub with the cover? <laughs> That's what Lofi requires. He's out here in the not water, and I need a hot tub with a cover. Oh, I'm sorry, uh... Back to the defendant, who clearly has wronged you in this case. Objection! That is a sexy duck. Yes, Lofi is extremely sexy. No one is debating that. What's the relevancy of uh, Lofi's sexiness? I object to everything. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Boy, dick shits, you think this was your first case? The bus took the flowers. Nope. No? It was that guy. It was that guy. <laughs> See? <laughs> she knows. Here I tried to pin it on a bus, which we all know are notorious flower thieves. And even that was not good enough. I'd like to uh, have one follow-up as far as the bus. Uh, I would have been better off having been raised by wolves. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Just so we're in agreement. That was my only follow-up about the bus. <laughs> your Honor, Dick Shits is making a mockery of your court. The defendant's motion is for you to do it was a cheat. Hey, everybody, we're all going to get laid tonight. Yeah, I object. Flowers ejaculate and he sneezes. What? I object to everyone getting laid tonight. You would. Me and Lofi are going to go over here. You're a witness. <laughs> Take my wife. <laughs> all right, Carolyn Albert, Yay! everybody. Yay! Nice work, Carolyn. Thank you. Thank you, Carolyn. That was brave of you. We all tried that for the first time together. And, uh, and it showed. And it showed. <laughs> but uh, there's something there. Yeah, I, I already know adjustments I want to make for next time. Well, good. Now next, we're getting there. Next week, come back for our whole new You're a Witness. Next week, we'll need a judge. Yeah. That'll Maybe be need more roles. Yeah. Well... <laughs> He'll fill the play, fill yeah, yeah. a full courtroom. And Lofi. I just, I just meant I just meant bread rolls for Lofi. We need Lofi. Lofi. The, <laughs> bread rolls for Lofi. Yeah, we have more rolls for Lofi. For Lofi. And Dick Shits should have uh, uh, some kind of shirt. All right. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you for your cheering, Scoop John B. Appreciate it. Hey, I'm still at $3. All right. Just want to beat Matt by a penny. That's all it takes. $2.01. I have won. So I, I would like to beat Paul by $100. <laughs> whoever's brave enough to just uh, come through with that dough. Make it happen. But thanks for the cheers, guys. All righty. Thanks, um, Yako Scoop. Now we're going to, uh, oh, we haven't hit refresh yet. Who knows? We're oh, going to triple threat, everybody. Oh, yes. Triple threat, triple threat. What's going to happen right here is it's a joke telling game. We have three different joke styles, three different setups that we are going to incorporate one single suggestion from you into each of those three styles. The first style is 185 blank walking to a bar. The bartender says, I'm sorry, we don't serve blank here. And then the uh, blank says something pithy. Second style is, they call me the blank because I blank. Third style is, I like my women or I like my men like I like my blank. And the fourth style, of course, what's the difference between a blank and your mom? And we fill in the blanks there. All we need to get us started, well, if we can do that, we will have completed a uh. triple threat. <laughs> All right. Now you guys throw, throw out any suggestions you want, and we will run it through the triple threat. I already see staplers. Staplers. Staplers it is. That's from Frozen 49th Scoop up in Alaska. Thank you. Try not to get hit by a nuclear weapon. Be safe. Be safe, Frozen 49th. 185 staplers walk into the bar. The bartender says, get the fuck out of here. And the uh, staplers are like, hey, we thought this was uh, the place where uh, Big Bad Voodoo Daddy was playing. <laughs> did, we, did we get the wrong bar? He's like, that's nah, the next bar, the swing line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, guys. Yeah, I like uh, my women. Like I like my staplers. Easy to bang in an office max. <laughs> they call me the stapler because I'm barely holding shit together. 
What's there in your mom and a stapler? What? One was found at a garage sale. When you opened her up, it was filled with all these little rusty pieces of something all just jammed in her and hoping it would clank away. And the other is a stapler. <laughs> What's the difference between your mom and a stapler? What's that? When I buy refills for a stapler, I'm not at a garbage store. <laughs> <laughs> what's, the, see, what's, the, what's the difference between your mom and a stapler? What? I let a stapler near my dick. <laughs> Fair enough. We need another, right, suggestion, another suggestion, another suggestion. item. Uh, let's see. Yako Scoop says college cheerleaders. College, college cheerleaders. cheerleaders. All right. 185 college cheerleaders walking to the bar. Bartender says, you, you guys are all underage. Get up. Uh, 185 college cheerleaders walking to the bar. The bartender says, George W. Bush, don't fall off the wagon now. <laughs> he, was he was a college, college cheerleader. cheerleader. You, did you don't it. have yeah. a joke. And an, we'll do. and an alcoholic. And an alcoholic. Exactly. That's why yeah. I, put, I put them both in yeah, there. Yeah, you got it in Two there. Two facts, really one joke. Giant right. quotes. If we, don't Enjoy. Give you, if we don't give you comedy, guys, we will give you history. Information. That's right. Information of a kind. Uh, I like my women like I like my college cheerleaders. 185 at a time and in a bar. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, they call me the college cheerleader because I was dropped from a pyramid and broke my neck. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> What's the difference between uh, your mom and a college cheerleader? What? One is only stripping to get through medical school, and the other is a college cheerleader. <laughs> What's the difference between your mom and a college cheerleader? What's that? One's pom-poms are covered in shit. <laughs> and the others? Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> Cold guy says volleyballs. Volleyballs. 185 volleyballs walking to the bar. Bartender says, uh, oh, we don't serve volleyballs here unless you got ID. And they had an ID. And the bartender goes, all right, Wilson, you can have a drink. <laughs> 180. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Now it's a show. 185 volleyballs walking to the bar. The bartender says, get the fuck out of here, you volleyballs, before you spike my booze. Nice. That was good. The audience did not like that. I did. That's all right. It wasn't for them. <laughs> As is little of this show. I like, uh, <laughs> they, call me, uh, they call me the volleyball. Yeah? Because I'm often uh, spanked by lesbians at a YMCA. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! Uh, I like my women like I like my volleyballs. They can get me over the net and not let me hit the ground. We're all good. <laughs> What's the difference between your mom and a volleyball? What? One can be found inside an indoor court or at a sandy beach uh, being uh, pummeled by the hands of numerous sweaty men and the other is a volleyball your mom has got problems <laughs> she's hard <laughs> indoor outdoor she just fucking takes it you without the shirt get your fingers on me we need another suggestion uh, let's see i have uh, a show to do for twitch <laughs> <laughs> t dizzle 2012 says croissants 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 One hundred eighty-five croissants walking to the bar. The bartender says, "Get out of here, you shit fake imitation uh, baguettes." <laughs> who, who the fuck you kidding, croissant? You want to be a baguette, but you ain't. Get to stepping. One hundred eighty-five croissants walking to the bar. Bartender pokes them in the stomach, and they go hee hee hee, and he goes, "Popping fresh dough. I knew it." Pillsbury Doughboy, pop it fresh dough. I'm alone on that one. No one else, no one else masturbated to the pop and fresh dough commercials. <laughs> that were on during Price is Right when you stayed home sick. Am I the only one? Is that what you stayed at home sick for? Just, yeah. to, just to see pop and fresh? <laughs> I can't go to school. I have too much cum in my balls. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing says loving like me ah! stroking your cum. Whoa! Ah! 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 
Whoa, no. man. No, oh. don't put that in the oven. It's going to burn. <laughs> Froyo's oh. with me. <laughs> oh, that's a greasy pie pan. <laughs> I like my women uh. like I like my croissants. Uh, fresh and hot. Served me in the morning next to my coffee. We fuck in the morning. It's morning <laughs> sex. Sometimes I like it. Ditto. They call me the croissant. So I'm easy to eat in the morning. Fresh and hot. <laughs> What's the difference between your mom and a croissant? What's that? The flaky layers of a croissant aren't perforated by crab lice. <laughs> What's the difference between your mom and a croissant? What? I had to get caught fucking your mom at home ec class in high school. <laughs> All right. Froyo soft serve says bicycle pump. <laughs> bicycle pump. Because I want to move on. <laughs> 185 bicycle pumps walking to the bar. The bartender says, we don't serve bicycle pumps. The bicycle pumps say, yeah, you're going to serve us, pal. We deserve a drink. The bartender says, you have a pretty inflated sense of yourself. <laughs> 185 bicycle pumps walk into the bar. Bartender says, we don't serve bicycle pumps here. And the bicycle pumps say, s Remember when hissing was a thing? In audiences? It'd be like, ooh, oh, s s yeah, what's this Rarely you hear hiss. hissing. Where's the last time you heard a real good, authentic hiss? I don't know, because Fifty Shades, like, you get heckled more yeah, than Yeah, but no one never goes, got a... So you'll, get, you'll get a... Yeah. Or you'll get a... Oh, a groan. But not Breath a... Back. Hissing is, is kind of out of fashion. Should we try the game again? We can Breath maybe, back? yeah. Are you okay, Brent? Oh, yeah, I'm good. Okay, we were worried about you. I didn't make it to the bag. Oh, okay. Take a shit. Yeah, yeah. Right. good, good, good. Good, good. Brent's back, everyone. Brent's back. Oh, I'm so sorry. Brent said he had to deposit a check. <laughs> yeah. Where are we? Bicycle pumps? Bicycle pumps for two. Uh, I like my women like I like my bicycle pumps. Uh, I get them next to my bicycle and I just jam them for 30 seconds. Yeah. That's all I got. Mm hmm They call me Sexually, the bicycle pump because I'm cylindrical, red, and hard. <laughs> uh... What's the difference between your mom and uh, a bicycle pump? What? One is really easy to pump while it waits for me sitting in my garage, and the other is a bicycle pump. Yes, that's right, that's right. What's the difference between a bicycle pump? And? What's and that? your mom. <laughs> what's that? What's the difference between your mom and a bicycle pump? Oh, what's let that, me, Paul? Let me rephrase it. Sure. Uh, one is a very effective tool for refilling and inflating tires or pool toys or anything else that might need air put into it. The other is a disgusting, filthy whore. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference between your mom and a bicycle pump? What? One was grabbed in the dark and used to bludgeon an intruder in the head. <clears throat> And the other is a bicycle pump. <laughs> <laughs> Pistachio Feet Scoop says frozen pizzas. Frozen, frozen pizzas. pizzas. All right. Cool, cool, cool. 185 frozen pizzas walk into the bar. Bartender says, we don't serve frozen pizzas here. The frozen pizzas say, is it because of our uh, dogs that we brought with us? We have uh, papers that prove these are therapy pepperonis. <laughs> I mozzarella tell you, we're gonna give you a low rating if you don't if you don't get us sauced. We want to get sauced. This place is a dump. It's all crusty. Hey, bartender, how about another round of a uh, pizza thing? <laughs> ah, 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 bartender, you've cut us into triangles to the quick. Bartender. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> bartender, bartender, my stuffed crust just oozed on your bar stool. 
Boom. I'm dripping. Yes, I got it. Got the hiss. I got the hiss. If this is happening anywhere else, we know we brought it back. We brought back hiss. We brought back the hiss. <laughs> I'm bringing hissy back. The next, uh. And I'm going to start snapping for poetry as well. Yeah. Um, I love the pun ballad so much. When was it only plays soft music mm -hmm. and puns. It's good. Um, I wish I had some puns. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, they call me the frozen pizza because I'm uh, Ilios... Gross. I'm disgusting. I'm disgusting. I'm gross. I'm a poor excuse for what you would need from a pizza. Cupcher's <laughs> uh, just subscribed to us on Twitch Prime. We earned that one. Yeah, yeah, we did. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> what's that subscription go like? It must get better. <laughs> I've seen Rock Bottom, so let's, 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 let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. Nowhere to go but up. Yep. <laughs> Uh, speaking of rock bottom, uh, I like my women like I like my frozen pizzas. They run a, uh, a shuttle service for, uh, for underwater sea life. <laughs> what? They run a shuttle service for underwater sea life. Mm -hmm. Several different stops along the way. Mm -hmm. Those stops are known as crust stations. <laughs> <laughs> Pizza has crust. <laughs> I don't know how that was. I, I try. I just did it because I. What's the difference between your mom and a frozen pizza? What? I eat a frozen pizza. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. L. Ron Hustler says pianist. 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 Or pianist. Yep. Pianist. 185 pianists walk into a bar, and the bartender's like, no, 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 this is a gay bar. You can, penises can walk in here. 185 Mexican pianists walk into the bar, and the bartender says, oh, I'm cutting you off before you even start, Liberaccio. <laughs> Liberaccio. All uh, right. Get it. I like my Get women. It. Like, I like Borracho my... is drunkard in uh, Spanish. A like... liber liberacho would be a drunk piano player. I like my women like I like my uh, penis. I let them tickle my ivories. <laughs> by ivories, I mean balls. <laughs> and by balls, I mean feet. <laughs> they call me the pianist because they're trying to call me a penis and they have a lisp. <laughs> What's the difference between your mom and a pianist? What? A pianist has a marketable skill. <laughs> What's the difference between your mom and a pianist? One works on a really heavy organ. The other's a pianist. <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> One more. Let's try to make it funny this time. Blow the organ! <laughs> a Cracker Jack prize. Cracker Jack, Jack Cracker Jack prize. 185 Cracker Jack prizes. Walk into the bar. Bartender says, "If none of you are a tattoo, then all of you get the fuck out." <laughs> uh, they call me the Cracker Jack prize because if you happen to eat the ball inside of me, it's okay. It's non-toxic. <laughs> <laughs> I like my women like I like my Cracker Jack prize. Discovered at my greasy fingers at a baseball game. <laughs> What's the difference between your mom and a Cracker Jack prize? Well, they call it a prize for one thing. <laughs> What's the difference between your mom and a Cracker Jack prize? What? One better be wrapped in cellophane or it's unsanitary. Oh, wait, that's both. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's the difference between your mom and a Cracker Jack prize? What's what? that? Uh, one is found in boxes around the whole country at baseball games and handled by many, many small children. And the other one's a Cracker Jack prize. Oh, mm. that ugly bitch. Oh, that ugly bitch, though. <laughs> oh, I was so hoping that was going to be the one that would let us leave this game, but it's not. It's not like yet. One. one more suggestion. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, cooking pots. Cooking pots. 185 uh, cooking pots walk into the bar. Bartender says, we don't serve cooking pots here. 
And they're like, why? And they're like, I can't tell you. And they're like, tell me. They're like, no, you, you don't want to know the truth. And they're like, tell me the truth. And the partner's like, you can't handle the truth. Handle. Pots, <laughs> pots, of, <laughs> pots of handles. Pots of handles. Do the math. Well, that's it for us. 185 pots walking to the bar. The bartender says, uh, we don't serve pots here. And the pots say, is it because we're black? And the bartender says, look, man, I'm a kettle. <laughs> Let's don't make it a thing. <laughs> I like my women like I like my pots, filled with macaroni and cheese. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they call me the pot because if you get at me, you can stir up some shit. <laughs> What's the difference between your mom and a pot? What? I hate cleaning a pot in a kitchen sink. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference between your mom and a pot? What's that? I'll always have your mom to piss in. <laughs> <laughs> and that, my friends, is triple threat. <laughs> <laughs> Took us 17 minutes to find a joke we could leave on. Finally. All right, guys. Now it's time for the show. Our Look last at me. Game of the show. I made ten. No, it's Paul. Uh, Matt made ten dollars. Yeah. Hmm. I think mom to piss in, guys. Well, it's fresh. It's, it's fresh. fresh. It's Don't fresh. Let it stew. We're actually you went along here, so I tell you what we'll do. I think we'll end since Bedoni's here with the Spanish job song. All right, let's do it. All right. We're going back to where it started. We're going back it's to the where Matrix. Gonna, it's Inception. We're gonna end with it. The Spanish job song yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be our closing ditty. And uh, for that, we need for you guys to give us an animal and an occupation, not necessarily at the same time. But this is the Spanish job song. So far, I'm winning $10.99 to $3. Spidoni has $5. Jacob has $0. Woohoo! This thing's just a, just a money printing machine, this show. <laughs> um, all right. Raccoon, I see. Raccoon. Raccoon. And that's from uh, Froyog. Yep. Uh, Scoop okay. John B says improv pianist. Penis. Rhino Therapist from Dave Coulier is oh, one like, uh, suggestion. Cold Guy says Meerkat. Meerkat. Want to do Raccoon Therapist? Raccoon Therapist. Let's do it. Raccoon Therapist. Raccoon Therapist. Raccoon Therapist. Raccoon Therapist. Raccoon Therapist. Raccoon Therapist. Hello, I'm a raccoon. Hey, yo. You'll be telling me your problems soon. Mm -hmm. While you sit down on my couch. While you sit down on my couch. That's right. Tell me your shit. Tell me your shit. I like to eat in every bit. Every bit. I do my job. I'm certainly no slouch. I am no slouch. When it came to therapy, I like to dab in it. I like to dab in it. Oh, shit. I'm out during the day. I must be rabbit. I must be rabbit. I'm a foaming in the mouth therapist, foaming in the therapist, raccoon therapist, raccoon therapist, raccoon therapist, raccoon therapist. Tell me what your mother did. Wahoo. Into your pants, your hands she slid. Wahoo. That was totally off limits for you. Off limits for you. I'm sorry you suffered such abuse. Wahoo. It's no wonder your mind's obtuse. Wahoo. Let me therapize you and make you a new. Make you a new. See my diploma on the wall. The wall. I got it from a trash can where I got this all. I got this all. Because I'm, I'm a, a raccoon, raccoon therapist. Raccoon therapist. Raccoon therapist. I scavenged my degree. Raccoon therapist. Raccoon therapist. Raccoon therapist. Oh. I'll take your temp. Your tip. Uh, your hemp. Your hip. What I'm saying doesn't make any sense. This does not make any sense. Don't worry, I'm up to the task. I'm up to the task. Trust me, even though I wear a mask. I wear a mask. That's right. It makes no sense. <laughs> it makes no sense. I interpret your dreams like a folia. Like a folia. Then you go pay, but not money, this time in garbage. Therapist. 
Your complex is deep and not easy to fix. Here, have a sample of this trail mix. I serve it to my patients for free. Serve it to his patients for free. I don't mean to be a dick, but before I was a therapist, I was Ranger Rick. I had a magazine, goddammit. Don't you recognize me? Don't you recognize me? Go ahead. Just give me dirty food to eat. Because I'll wash it. We wash all our food. Raccoons are knees. Raccoons are knees. I'm a raccoon therapist. Raccoon therapist. Raccoon therapist. Ranger Rick. Raccoon therapist. Raccoon therapist. Raccoon therapist. Doesn't anyone remember Ranger Rick? <laughs> Ranger Rick. Thanks a lot, everybody. That's the Bucket Show. Thank you. Coming out. Oh, wow. to our studio audience. Yes, studio Brent. audience. You guys were awesome. Thank Thanks you for being here. Jacob Smith, all yes. the people here. Production's Chuck and Wes. Chuck and Wes on the cameras. Making magic. Brent coming in early to be our warm up act, even though his spine is fucked. Spine is made of uh, cooked lobster shells. It's bad news. It's bad news. <laughs> and thank you to everyone on Twitch for tuning in, for tipping us, for making our show fun. People here in the studio audience, if you thought the show was worth more than zero dollars, you can show some money in this bucket right here, and also wave goodbye to the fans here on the internet watching away. Uh, oh, Matt is still winning right now. I'm up now, ten dollars. He's up, he's up six bucks. All right. It looks like it's gonna stay that way because Chuck's out there to hit refresh. It's pretty close. It's pretty All right. close. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm refreshing it over here, and it's the same. All right. If you enjoyed the show, please tune in to Matt Mattingly's Ice Cream Social. Twice a week, we put out a podcast where you can listen to us be silly in your ear holes for free. All right. This show's free too, except if you want a tip, we appreciate that. You have a channel, you got people to hop in on there over there, Chuck? Yeah. All right. Silly Megan Eagleson. You guys wanna go, to, let's go check out Megan Eagleson right now, you can go raid her. We're gonna hop off Twitch, but it doesn't mean you have yeah, to. Yeah, please go so say hi, go be say nice, hi to show some scoop love. And uh, maybe, maybe some people will come over here and check, check out, out some out other next content time. producers. And uh, otherwise, Buckets. Yeah, otherwise buckets, Paul. What a strong close. Good night, everybody. <laughs> That's the bucket show. Put money in our buckets. That was the bucket show. Virtually that and the reality. Show. That was the bucket here, show. Here comes somebody. That was the bucket show. Somebody's actually coming up with money for the buckets. That was the bucket show. That was the bucket Look at it. Yeah, look, look. Yay. Thank you so much. Thanks for being show. here. Thank you so much. That was the bucket oh, show. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you, Ted. Yay. Thank you, Ted. Thank you. Thank you, Carolyn. Yay. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A hand job. Oh. No. <laughs> a hand job for Matt. <laughs> oh, that's. A, you can tear that up right now. That's going to be delivered <laughs> shortly. Post haste. <laughs>